Go ahead. Okay, so our app is called iSurvey. I got the idea for this app when I was working on a previous group project, and um, I had to send out a question to all the group members, and it was kind of tedious to sort of, you know, send them out a message and then correlate all the responses back. And so um, I was thinking about that problem, and basically we came up with the idea of creating an app for the Android platform that would allow you to type in a question, type in a specific set of answers, and then select a bunch of contacts and have the application send the survey out to all of your contacts and then wait in the background and then tie up the responses. Um, and so right now, um, our app has a basic set core, feature, core set of features. It allows you to send out the questions to people and receive the responses. Um, we're planning on uh, if we develop further to add integration with the Google Charts API that allows you to basically generate graphs and this will allow us to visualize the results of the questions and surveys better. Um, this app is really useful for people who have to send a large number of, uh, or a question to a large number of people. Um, and so that's demonstrated by the benefit analysis scale that we have right here. And you see if you send a question to one person, then you're not really gonna get any benefit from using iSurvey because it wasn't really very tedious in the first place. If you send it to 10 people, you know, if you were to do that without iSurvey, it gets kind of irritating. With iSurvey, it wouldn't be a problem. If you to send it to 100 people, well, without iSurvey, you better hope that you're getting paid for doing something like that because it'd probably be really boring or really irritating to go through and do it. But iSurvey makes that not a problem at all. So, or do you guys discuss some of the more technical features of it or demonstrate it? The bullets? And here is that survey. Can I make that any like cooler? Right? So no. I can make that more viewable. No, it looks good. Alright. So this is iSurvey. Brings you to the welcome screen. As you can see, you have two choices. You can either view the results of the questions you've sent out, such as some of these questions, some of these are just tests we did to make sure it was working. Here's a question, what kind of pizza do you want? Suppose you're having a party. This is a very small use for this application, but so it still shows the benefits of it. You just do this, what kind of pizza do you want? You click on the question, and as you can see, you would have the question, it would show the responses. Mushroom, olive, chives, whatever kind of pizza you want, you can make this whatever you want. And it would show the responses, had there been any responses to this question. Go back, and say you want to make a new question. Right here, you get a screen that'll ask you to create a question, and ask you for a question ID, which is a unique identifier that will allow whoever you're texting to reply with this identifier such that the database can actually query this and make sure it's an actual question. It's a valid question, not just some garbage you're getting back from your book. Then you type in the responses in like, string format so that you, the people you're texting know like they just don't get A, B, C. They know you have olives, mushrooms, chives. Then you hit next after you typed in, and now the question has been stored in the database already, and you bring up your list of contacts, and those are all the contacts I have on my phone. You can check them, whoever you want. We don't want to invite Satan to this party, so we're not even going to tell him about it. So we have now three contacts who are going to receive this message, and hopefully they'll reply. Send, message has been sent. If we want to go to view results, here's this question we just asked. There are no real answers because we didn't put anything in because that'd be tedious and long for just a demo purpose. And that is I survey. Any questions? Does it actually work? <laughs> One bug left. It's in version point, it's 0 0.95. Not kidding. Yes? Um, you know um, the, the charts, um, the charts API, does that allow you to do Venn diagrams too? I mean, um, if someone wants to have yeah. chives and uh, um, we, haven't had, we haven't added support for that yet. If they want multiple things, so far it's just a, it's supposed to be a simple application with unique responses where you're not going to have overlapping concerns. If that is the case, you'd have to call them. Yeah. Yeah. Could you know the API allows that? Not sure. In this current, in the current implementation, what we have, it doesn't. I don't know if API does. Yeah. He's well, the one who looked at that. Our side, the API uh, doesn't have support for that currently built in. 
but I'm not sure whether or not the Google Charts API allows you to do that. So when you send a read, you send a question, it has an ID prepended with it, and then it asks for the ID space and then A, B, or C. Mm -hmm. That's all preformed. I think Lance, Lance had a question. Yeah, how do I add more context? How do I add more context? To the, uh, it's, it's pulled straight from your context. Yes. Okay. And Kate, does it support more than one question at a time on a survey? On a survey, yeah. Okay. Like you can ask as many questions as you want. Those were all the little, the little brackets. Those were just questions that I just wanted to make sure everything was working fine. It would actually send even a blank question. So those were all those little bracket enter question here you saw on the questions. Right? Are they grouped together in one survey or is it just? No, it's just separate. multiple. It's okay. just questions. It's just separate questions. So question ID. your questions are stored in the content provider. Why are you using your own ID? Why put the burden of making a unique ID on the user? Why can't you just use the ID of the question in the database? So that we had another way of making sure they're not overwriting data. There's multiple different checks for it. You, one person cannot reply to the same question more than once, in which we are actually would add a later feature for them to have a way to change their answer by adding in another character. But it's so that we can identify, here's the question. Instead of having them reply with one and the question ID, it's a way for us to easily parse. It's, it's a four, it requires a four character, two, yeah, four character, two alpha, and two numeric characters so that we can easily parse it instead of using uh, ID provided by the database with its auto-increment feature. 